Welcome to your Tutor Online video lessons. This is the last of a four-part series on systems of equations. In this video, we'll look at how to solve systems of equations by substitution. Substitution just means you'll find out what one variable is equal to, and you plug it into the other equation. In this first example, we already see that x is the same thing as 2y minus 3. So that means wherever we see an x in the other equation, we can put in this for it instead. And that way we'll only have y's to deal with and be able to solve an equation. So I'll begin to rewrite the second equation, 3y plus 2x. And instead of x, we're going to put in what we know x is equal to. x is the same thing as 2y minus 3. is equal to 8. Now that we only have one variable, we can solve for y. 3y and distribute to 2 plus 4y minus 6 is equal to 8. And combine like terms, get 7y minus 6 is equal to 8. Add 6 to both sides. 7y is equal to 14, and divide both sides by 7, we find out that y is equal to 2. We're going to take this answer we got for y, plug it back into either one of the original equations to solve for x. I chose to plug this back into the first equation that x is equal to 2y minus 3, so we're going to take our y is equal to 2 put it where we see the y, and go ahead and solve for x. 2 times 2 is 4, subtract 3, and x is equal to 1. And now we know both solutions, x is equal to 1, and y is equal to 2. Sometimes a variable will not already be isolated or by itself. So you have to work with an equation to get one of the variables by itself. In this example, the second equation could easily be turned into one where y is all by itself, if we just subtract 3 from both sides. So it becomes y is equal to negative 3x plus 5. And we can take that, just like we did before, and plug it into the other equation wherever we see a y. 4x minus 2, plug in the y, negative 3x plus 5 is equal to 10. Now all we have are x's and we can solve for x distribute the negative 2. So we'll get plus 6x minus 10 is equal to 10. And we'll continue this on another page. We'll combine our like terms, the 4x and the 6x, leaves us with 10x. And at the same time, I'll add 10 to both sides. 10 plus 10 is 20. We'll divide both sides by 10 to get x by itself, and have our answer for x is 2. Now that we know what x is, we can go back to one of the original equations, plug in 2 where we see an x, and solve for y. Here I plugged in 2 into the first equation and we will solve for y. 4 times 2 is 8 minus 2y is equal to 10. We'll subtract 8 from both sides and be left with a negative 2y on the left, a positive 2 on the right, 
divide both sides by negative 2 and y is equal to negative 1. That's all there is for solving systems of equations by substitution. They get a little more complex, especially when the variables are already not by themselves, but follow this process and you'll be able to solve any of them. I hope you found this lesson useful. If you have any questions, leave a comment on the blog at www.yourtutoronline.com. If you have any lesson suggestions, send an email to podcast at yourtutoronline.com. Thanks for watching. Class dismissed.